with Average Geek. Um, I'm actually kind of excited today. Um, I actually got my Nerd Block Classic on time. <laughs> um, from what I can tell, I actually got it. Uh, probably one of the first people to get it. Um, that's actually kind of impressive because you guys should know by now that the last couple weeks I've been getting it dramatically later than everybody else. Um, so that's super, super exciting. Um, this month's theme was Summer Mixtape. Uh, the only thing I know that's actually in here is a um, Ghostbusters item. And funnily enough, they have stopped doing um, putting a list of what's in here on the front anymore. It's just a basic tracking slip. Um, that is unless they covered it with that. So, let's get to it. Well, ice. Let's get us some nerd Christmas. Um, I will say this. This month and next month will be um, a very key couple of months for Nerdblock Classic in my eyes. Um, because depending on how this month and next month go, um, will determine whether or not I actually keep Nerdblock Classic. Um, I'll be keeping Arcade Block regardless, but... Um, Nerdblock Classic to me has been kind of almost going the way of Loot Crate and being inconsistent with the contents um, as far as whether or not um, it either fits the theme or is worth keeping. So um, I've been looking at other subscription box to fulfill its place. So I actually have something picked out should um, this month and next month um, fall. So. Don't worry, there will still be unboxings to be had. So, uh, let's get into it. <sighs> Alright. Let me just pull the t-shirt out, save it for last. Alright, well, I can already see the, uh, the Ghostbusters item, but we're going to skip that for the moment. Let me pull out. Let's see, what is this? At a Rubik's Cube stress ball. They like sending us stress balls. I actually don't mind uh, them because usually they're really nifty. Um, one of the first ones I got was from Arcade Block, which is the uh, Atari stress ball. Um, so this is actually kind of neat. Um, I know Loki loves Rubik's Cubes. Um, I can never complete mine because I get bored. Um, because I usually love puzzle-y things. Um, that's actually kind of cool, actually. Nifty little filler item. What is this? Oh, snap. These I might open just, uh, just because, um, of my obsession. We got, uh, Game of Thrones coasters. Now, they're off-brand, uh... Nerdblock exclusive, but a coaster of kings. But you can see there, that's the Lannisters. Uh, the one on the back is the Targaryens. Um, that is awesome. These I am actually going to open, unlike the other ones, just because I have that obsession with uh, Game of Thrones, which you should be able to tell <laughs> by now. Um, okay, so we've got uh, the Lannisters. The Starks, which is, of course, my house of choice. Um, the Baratheons, which the only thing they're missing is the crown around the stag's neck. And um, you can tell that's the Targaryens right there. Um, these are kind of neat. I mean, they're really flimsy cardboard. I mean, that's pretty thin. Um, and I would never actually use these as coasters because um, I feel like they would 
probably get wet and then like fall apart after like two uses. Um, but these actually are kind of cool. I might find a way to like display them, maybe put some sticky on them and then stick them on the wall. But uh, that's actually kind of cool. Not sure how that goes with the theme of summer mixtape, um, especially because the series comes out usually in the fall. But uh, still, I'm not really going to complain about that one too much because uh, it's Game of Thrones. How could I not like Game of Thrones? Um, all right. Uh, what is this? Ah, get back in the box. All right. Let's see. What is this? Uh, this is interesting. Awkward Family Postcards. It's a book of some sort. Is this peelable? No, it's a book. Um, everyone's got those awkward family photos. Um, it is literally a book of postcards with people's random family pictures. Like, who can forget uh, Pooh and Eeyore? Um... Like that. Um, this is really random and not really. That nerdy. So. This is a little confusing to me. Let's see. Uh, from the number one New York Times bestselling Awkward Family Photos series comes a collection of 35 classic and hilarious postcards to help you stay in touch with the loved ones in the most uncomfortable way possible. Mike Bender the, is a screenwriter whose credits include not another teen movie and the MTV Mu Movie Awards. Jud Doug Cernak was created, has created and Produced television shows for E, Fox Sports, and the Golf Channel. What the hell does that got to do with nerdy shit? Is it because there's nerds in the pictures? That's kind of dumb. Somewhat disappointing. All right, so the Ghostbusters item, which had been actually unfortunately kind of leaked, so I had a good idea of what was coming. Um, what is that? Oh, that must be inside of here. Is a uh, Ghostbusters lunchbox, like metal lunchbox. It's kind of thin metal, but you know, still pretty cool. It looks like one of the traveling containment units. It looks like my wallet. Okay. So that's actually kind of cool. Let's uh, open this up. So it opens like this. Open it. Oh, there's something inside. Of course there would be. Oh, that's adorable. It's freaking Slimer. Okay, this makes me happy. This almost makes up for the stupid book. It's a freaking Slimer plush. Um, this was one of my favorite characters uh, growing up. Um, quality is a little weird. It's a Ghostbusters. Oh, great. I'm trying to see. It, it's licensed. It has the Ghostbusters logo and it's called Monsters Everywhere. Um, style's a little weird. It's not fully the Slimer I remember, but it's really kind of cute how they actually put him in the uh, Ghostbusters lunchbox. Um, this is really nifty. It's really, really nifty. Um, time for the t-shirt. Um, let's see what we got. 
it's brown. It's actually brown. Um, which is cool. I don't really have any brown shirts. Oh, shit. It is also a Ghostbusters item. Box, stay in position. I swear to God. Um, at the top, we have Bankman saying who. Uh, then we have Egon saying what. Stans saying gonna. And then, of course, Wilson saying call. Who are you going to call? That is an epic shirt, um, as always, by Shirt Punch. Um, although this is a heavy cotton, supposedly, it does feel like a summer weight shirt. Um, that might be on purpose. Uh, this is a nerd block exclusive, um, $20 shirt, um, made by shirt punch, obviously 10% off best shirts at shirt punch. Um, they do make some pretty damn epic shirts. This is exciting. I'm going to have so much fun wearing this to go see the new, uh, Ghostbusters movie when it comes out because I totally fully support the, the new one with the the all-female cast. Um, this, uh, okay, so uh, here's for the countdown. We've got the epic Ghostbusters shirt, the Slimer and Ghostbuster containment unit lunchbox. We've got the Rubik's Cube stress ball. And Game of Thrones coasters. And we've got the uh, Awkward Family postcards, which personally I think is uh, awkward to be in here. Um, all in all, um, yeah, the Ghost Rap looks well. I don't see how all of the pieces fit the summer mixtape. Honestly, given that there were three different Ghostbusters items, I feel like it should have been a more goofy Ghostbuster theme kind of thing. Um, I think it would have been cooler instead of this awkward family photo thing uh, to have like a goofy ghost story book or um, an art print or maybe a book about Ghostbusters production. Um, the Rubik's Cube thing is cute. That kind of fits the theme because that's kind of a, like an 80s, early 90s feel of something. Um, or they could have done a stress ball of the Ghostbusters logo. Um, that would have been cool. I love these coasters. It's probably one of my favorite things in here. Absolutely love these. I'm going to find a place to put them on my wall or maybe even my fridge, which you'll notice I finally got into my room. I finally got it into the office. Um, but it doesn't fit the, the summer mixtape thing other than, oh, you can put your cold drinks on these. Um, Game of Thrones doesn't fit that. Um, unless you're thinking of the long summer. Um, so that I'm still trying to figure out. We've got three different Ghostbusters items. It should have been just, they should have just gone with a, a Ghostbusters theme, personally. Um, it, it feels less misleading that way. Um, but the lunchbox, the Slimer, who I'm going to tuck back into the, uh, Ghost Trap lunchbox, which is pretty epic. I like, I also like the way, I also like the fact that it opens just on one side. That's pretty freaking nifty. Um, so that's exciting. Um, all in all, not too bad. I mean, not too bad of a haul. Pretty good. We're going to repack this. I'm going to repack that all nice and neat. Well, nice-ish. Um, I love the shirt. The shirt's amazing. Um, I love those guys. Uh, Ghostbusters was huge when I was growing up. Um, even, you know, years after it had been released. Um, it was one of those movies you always watched when it was on. Um, so yeah, still, still trying to figure that one out. But, all in all, 
good block. Um, the stronger items do somewhat make up for the weaker items. Um, some of them are clearly just filler, um, which is one of the things I was talking about when it comes to um, nerd blocks kind of getting inconsistent and missing the mark a little bit more. Um, and it's purely for the fact they're throwing in more filler items than the quality that I'm used to. You know, I've been subscribed since November of last year, so I'm, I've got quite a few months to, you know, under my belt. Um, so the uh, exclusive Ghost Trap Lunchbox was our um, item of the month. Um, so, oh, actually, no, the Slimer Plush was our product of the month, even though it's on the normal side where it lists out all the stuff. Um, still good stuff. Uh, next month looks like it's gonna have, uh, Star Wars Force Awakens stuff. Um, let's see, da, 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 da. It's an official item that's gonna be in there. Um, the only other things I know is that our arcade block is gonna have a, uh, Mortal Kombat 10 item in it. Um, so I'm kind of stoked for that. I love Mortal Kombat. Um, I've played 10. Um, it is so deliciously gruesome that I could only play it for about 20 minutes before I wanted to throw up. Um, and I don't blame that. <laughs> that means it's a good Mortal Kombat game. Um, so I'm excited for that. Um, that should be coming later on in the month. Hopefully it arrives with the swiftness that this one did. Um, and then next month, I forget what they actually said the um, theme was for next month's nerd block, but if it's got Star Wars officialness, I think it had something to do with space. So I'm going to assume that there's some galactic stuff in there. Like, you know, I think there was, a like, the wording used, I think there was um, a chance for something Star Trek as well. So, um,. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Um, still deciding whether or not to keep my block classic. Let me know what you think um, down below. Also, if you'd like your own nerd block, arcade block, or any of their other blocks that they offer, um, the link will also be provided below. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, later, geeks.